Just introduce yourself to our viewers very quickly. Uh, good morning all the viewers. I'm Soel Ali from Santos. I'm a striker and uh, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, we, we all love strikers. Uh, good morning to all the viewers. Uh, my name is Ayanda. I'm a goalkeeper from Tata City. Talk to me about this this role and, and making sure that uh, we mobilize youth. Uh, June month is a very important month, but there's so many opportunities in education. How do we make sure that we get the youth excited? Well, firstly, the youth itself has to be very passionate about everything that we do, because as we all know, the youth is our future. And um, if there's passion, you know, like they're willing to persevere and to pursue all the things they want to achieve. And through that, we, I feel we can prosper as a country. You're on this road shows. What are you sharing with the youth? Um, you're part of the, the roadshow. Uh, you've got an integral relationship with the Department of Agriculture. What are you, what are you sharing on these roadshows? Well, uh, we're kind of just bringing awareness as sportsmen as how important the agricultural sector is to the footballing sector as well. Because like the main component to a successful footballer is his diet. And from the agricultural sector, we get all our fruits, our vegetables, our fishes, our berries from the forestry. And I think that's 80% of the success of a footballer is the diet that he has. So this is just bringing greater awareness to the greater public that it's not only about the training that they put in, but it's also the things they do behind the scenes, the eating, the extra training, all of that. It's just to show that there's many components that people don't take note of that's actually of vital importance to us. I think after this broadcast, a lot of people are going to agree with you because we haven't actually thought of that relationship. Um, what is some of the feedback that you've been getting on these roadshows? Well, it's actually amazing to see how excited everybody is to get on board with football and the agri agricultural sector together. It wasn't something that people thought would go together very well, but we see that through new explorations, we're able to find new discoveries that can actually help us very well. So I think it's just going to be a very successful and fruitful thing that we're doing together. Some of the reaction, the feedback that you've received on the roadshows? Um, Glenda was going on the end of the bonaman is in the October when Zwanga Londa Bona Uba youth if in Gaza are paying a fundal call, then Zanetis are cool, Koba, Nendos is Jayos is a player's and Boniluba, Zenzua Arpa. Thank you. Not everybody's going to be a striker, not everybody's going to be a goalkeeper. I mean, they look at you and they go, hey, he looks like one of those Brazilian soccer players. <laughs> How important is it for youth to kind of understand their strengths? I mean, you've obviously been involved in soccer, you've identified it as a passion, now you've developed it, you're, you're making a career of it, and, and, and you were, were fortunate that way. But how important is it that we, that we kind of understand from a youth perspective where, what field or direction we need to go into? I think that as, as young people, we should explore many different avenues because some people, they might have the passion for football, but they not might not be able to take it all the way. So the academics behind it is also very important. Like if they still have the passion for football, they could always go into, for example, the agricultural sector whereby they still have the indirect impact on football as, as, as ourselves. Like I said, with the, with the food and the, and the diet and things like that. So they could still have impacts like that whereby they could create, like, for instance, like different academies whereby they could be sponsors to it. Like, um, example, fisheries. They could supply the fish to the, to the academies whereby we know for a fact and that all the players are going to be eating healthy diets and that way they could give their input into successful footballers for the future. Awesome. Quick message from you to the youth. We're in June month. Let's take this opportunity very quickly. Just a simple message. Nanta fungu tigulu chalwe tu uba malisu uge kwenye ntuwa zimtaka Ezi tibansene ziobi siba zame uba badale esport Esport isi ya mkupu mdu Guys, thank you very much for joining me and sharing your message about uh, being more involved. This has been our broadcast from Tolo Village here, the Agriculture and Rural uh, Training, uh, Rural Development Institute, uh, for 45 kilometers outside of uh, Mtata. We've spoken to a host of people on a manner of things, including uh, the Minister of Agriculture, of Forestry and Fisheries, and his vision for youth and agriculture, and making sure that they understand that this is a viable career. From us here, here in Tolo Village. The sun is finally out. The coldness has anticipated from us. Ciao, ciao. Let's go back to level.